Good day, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, this is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about an investment problem. So I'll get started. A large corporation starts at, at time t equal to zero to invest part of its receipts at a rate of p dollars per year in a fund for future corporate expansion. Assume that the that the fund earns R percent per year compounded continuously. So the rate of the growth of the amount A in the fund is given by dA by dt or derivative of A with respect to t is equal to R times A plus P, where A is equal to zero when t is equal to zero. Solve this differential equation for A. Okay, so derivative of A with respect to time T is equal to RA plus P or derivative of A divided by RA plus P is equal to derivative of T on the right hand side. Uh, now we take integra integration, we do integration on both sides. So it becomes on the left hand side one over R multiplied by natural logarithm of RA plus P is equal to T plus C1 where C1 is a constant. Now we multiply by R on both sides, we get natural logarithm of RA plus P is equal to RT plus C2. C2 is another constant. C2 is equal to C1 times R. Or taking uh, or using the definition of natural logarithm, RA plus P is equal to natural number raised to the power of RT plus C2. Now we will subtract P on both sides. So we get RA is equal to C2 multiplied by natural number RT minus P and divide by R all through. So A is equal to C2, which is a constant times natural number raised to the power of RT minus P divided by R, okay? And if we divide by R, we get C2 divided by R multiplied by exponent RT minus P over R. Now C2 by R can be written as C, which is another constant, okay? So that is the equation we are looking for in A by solving the uh, differential equation, okay? C is a constant. Now when T is equal to zero, A is equal to zero. Amount is zero, of course. So zero is equal to C, which is the constant <coughs> it's, uh, natural number raised to the power of zero minus P over R. Natural number raised to the power of zero is one. So C is equal to P over R. Hence, we substitute by the value of C, which is the integration constant in the equation for A. We get P over R, X, uh, natural number raised to the power of RT minus P over R. We take out P over R as a common factor outside the parenthesis on the left, right hand side, and we get P over R multiplied by in parenthesis, natural number raised to the power of RT minus one. So uh, I'll stop here today for part one. I'll come back again with this problem in part two. Take a look when you get a chance. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner, okay? Remember, it's in the bottom right corner of the screen. I come back every week and solve new problems for you. Thanks. Take care. Have a nice day.